right, so I just got the 17.17.4 update on my Hardware 2 Model S. We're going to go ahead and do a test and see how it's performing. Disengage for the red light. Oh, never mind. Back on. Found the right lane through the intersection, the correct lane, I should say, although it uh, was a bit uncertain. This road's pretty much straight, so it's a pretty easy test, I'd say. great through that intersection, <laughs> but uh, back on track. And that one was nice and smooth. So we're going to go out on a main road now and go a little bit faster. is 55 on this road. Let's put it on 65. on this try to this is a ramp I don't know if it'll let me or not this is a flyover bridge um, there we go let's see how it does this has a big big curve in it I'm actually gonna slow it down to 55 kind of nervous going 55 on this bridge but so far so good up the car around the curb in front of me. A little close to the white line there and on the reflectors. And then it's going to back out to the right. Not bad. Okay. 
Not sure if it'll let me do auto lane change. I don't think it considers this a highway quite yet, but I'll try it. No, so I will have to manually. Re-engaging right. up to speed limit is now 55. There it goes. So I'm working on 70. Doesn't see the car in front of me yet. I can see it pretty well. Okay, I think it should be seeing it right there. We go. Try the lane change again. We get, I don't think I'm technically. Or at least Tesla doesn't think I'm on a highway yet. Oh, there it goes. I can see the sidelines, the uh, lines for the next lane. So I'm gonna move over. did it for me. I know it's not meant to do this yet, so I'll just take it off. I just want to see what happened. Alright, so back on side roads. I'm going to try the auto high beam too. Can't right now, there's a car in front of me, but I would like to give it a try. Alright, I'm gonna go back into autopilot as soon as I can. There's a curve here, and curves back to the right, it straightens out. Let's see what it does here. It's a fork in the road. Well, much better than it used to do there, except for that last piece. Last time I tested at that fork, it pretty sure it tried to go to the right, or at least wasn't sure what to do. It was much more confident that time. I was a little nervous at the top of that hill, since I guess it lost the lane due to the angle of the camera. And again, just went over the yellow line, so I'll pull back over. Since there are cars around me, I don't want people to get the wrong idea. This is a pretty long intersection, so let's see what happens. And now we have parked cars on the right, so this is a good test as well. Drop it down to around 28. Yeah, it's 
definitely question, questionable at the top of a hill. And I hate, that was my fault, I disengaged because I don't like how close it gets to the center line. couple versions ago it didn't really care about the cars on the side of the road and it, I couldn't even drive on a road like this because it um, would be too close to the those parked cars so it's at least respecting them this time see the lanes are flickering right now I'm not sure why Drop down to 25 going through this narrow portion here. It's very, I'm mean, gonna pull over for a minute and uh, send a package out and then we'll continue. Alright, let's try this again. It's not sure about this parked car. Okay, here we go. Definitely wanted to go straight there, so I had to disengage. So there's another kind of a fork up here. This lane has right of way at this next uh, Y intersection. And this one actually worked okay before, so I'm, hope I'm assuming it's going to still work okay. Yep, that was good. A little hesitant right now, I'm not sure why. Right, we go on left here. next little piece of road is has a couple good little curves in it so we'll see how it does I'll engage it as soon as I can real close to the white line not technically over it yet but right on it Just for fun, as an added bonus, take a left here. There's the traffic circle down this road. And I know it's going to fail, but it'll be good uh, just to test it out anyway. actually doesn't know what the speed limit is right now. It's 25 on this road. So I'll just keep it at 28. And of course, stop sign. There's a couple stop signs before I get to the traffic circle. Here's the road 
without any center lane. Let's see if I can enable or not on this road. I guess oh, there's I had a split second there where I could have enabled autopilot or auto steer. wants to be on the left side of the road, which of course is not preferable, but given that there's no lane line here, I can't really fault it, perhaps. So here, coming up to a traffic circle, doesn't know what to do here, probably. Nope. Alright, we're going to turn around and try it, the circle from a road with uh, lines painted on it. So I'm just going to go straight for the circle, ready to stop. Try this twisty road one more time, this time from the opposite direction. Really, really close to the center line. And over the center line, I'd say, or on it. Try to pick the straight lane, although I am going to go left, so. Yeah, not sure what this truck is doing. I think that will about do it for the test. So I think uh, Autopilot's definitely coming along much better. Has still a long way to go in my opinion, but it's definitely working. It works really well on highways, I'd say, even at high speeds. And uh, side roads definitely need some work. There's a lot of obviously different situations like parked cars and traffic circles and sharper turns. So. Definitely some work to be done there, but overall it's getting better, and um, yeah, that's about it.